we got a ton of people in the server, so I'm going to show you demo of the ban bot. Dot ban. And we're, everything checks out already. And we're going to say yes. And the whole server is being wiped clean. Hey guys, Tony Scott YT here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a Discord bot that can pretty much ban everybody in a Discord server and wipe the members list clean. So let's get started. First, what we're going to do is head over to node.js. And then we're just going to want to install this 18.17.1 LTS version. If you don't see 18.17.1 or if you see something that's a bit um, newer or older, that you could install it anyway, it'll still work. But what we want to do is just run this. And once it's installed, just open node.js and it should see this little node.js application right here. And then just make sure that works. You just have to have the console up and stuff. If your node.js version isn't the same as mine, it doesn't really matter too much. Nothing will be deprecated. But from here, what we're going to do is go to a new tab and we're going to install Visual Studio Code. And then you're going to see the download right here. And then you're going to want to download it for whatever you got. Once well, it's downloaded, we're just going to want to go to the search bar and search in Visual Studio Code. Minimize this tab. And here we have Visual Studio Code. So from here, what I'm going to do is full screen this, go to File Explorer, open folder, and then on desktop, I'm going to right click and then I'm going to sort by new and then a new folder. This will be the name of the bot or the name of the bot folder. So how about just fan bot? select this and now we have this bot folder opened on visual studio code so from here what we're going to do is actually set up a discord bot so we're going to go over here go to the discord developer portal it is discord.com slash developers slash applications once you're here you are going to see this new application button at the top right click on this and you have to give your application a name I'm just going to call it BanBot. Make sure that you accept the or terms of service. Create that. If you want, you can set up a profile picture, description, or change the name, but you really don't have to. What we're going to do from here is go to Bot. And we're going to enable these three intents. Make sure you click on Save Changes. The presence intent, um, it makes sure that we can actually read the presence updates. We don't really need it too much, but still useful to have on and just not really point of having it on or off for this bot. So we just keep it on either way. And the server members intent, we need this to actually read from the server members list. Message content intent so that we can read message content. And then we're going to go to O2 auth. Or not, actually not not o2 auth yet we're gonna go to bot and we're gonna reset the token and then you're gonna see this token right here i'm just gonna copy that i'm gonna make a new tab where i can store this token but now we're gonna go to o2 auth url generator we're going to select to bot and then we're gonna select administrator this we require administrator to use this bot well, you don't really need administrator, you can just have it as band members, but administrator is best. So we're going to copy this link. This is going to be your bot's invite link. Just going to paste that on here too. So make sure you have both of these saved, your Discord bot token and your Discord bot invite. So from here, we're just going to move this off to the side. And then in here, what I'm going to do is click on terminal in the top left, select on new terminal or click control shift plus. And then what I'm going to do from here is type in npm init. And then you're going to see all this information. So the package name, you don't really have to change that. So you can just click on enter version. If you want a custom version, you can put in a custom version, but we don't really need it. 
description. You don't need a description, but if you want one, you can write one. Entry point index.js, keep that as that. Test command, you don't need this. Git repository, you don't need this. No keywords needed. Author, if you want to put an author, you can, but I'm just going to put mine as Tony Scott YT. You don't need a license. And is this okay? Yes. We're going to click on enter. And then it's going to make this package.json file. And from here, what we're going to do is click on new file. And we're going to type in index.js. So in the description of this video, I have a paste bin link, which has all the code. So what we're going to do from here is just copy and paste that into here. And you're going to have all this stuff. So from here, what we're going to do is go back to the terminal and we're going to type in npm i discord.js at 13. Right, just like that. And then click on enter. This will install the package discord.js version 13, which actually controls the bot and stuff. So from here, you're going to see this little token thing. What we're going to do is get your token that you saved earlier and paste it right here. That is really all that you need to do in terms of the bot. So what we can do is type in, or not type in, you just press Control plus S to save the file. You can go to Solo Deba console and click F5. And then you're going to see Node.js. If you don't have F5, you can click on Run, start debugging, and then you have to run it with Node.js. As you can see, BandBot has been successfully launched. This is the bot that we made earlier, right here. It has successfully logged into the bot using the bot's token. So what we're going to do is actually get a server. So give me a minute to get a server set up. Okay, so now that I have the server set up, where you want to make sure it is going is you have the bot going and it is still launched and that it is still running in debug mode. So from here, as you can see, I got my alt account or my work account in here. And what we're going to do is go to the bot invite that you saved earlier. I'm just going to paste this somewhere. You could also paste it in a browser like Chrome and you can add it manually from the website. But you don't really need to do that. So we're going to click on this link. And then when you see this uh, at the server, you're going to click on the server you want to add it to. And you have to make sure that you verify as administrator. Okay, so now once you have the bot in the server, you have to make sure that it's actually online. And then from here, what we're going to do is go to the server settings, roles, and you're going to see the band bot role right here. I'm just going to make a owner role for demonstration purposes and I'm going to give that to my alt. So going back to roles, you can see that the owner role is above the band bot role. If this happens, that means that anybody with the owner role, for example, cannot be banned by the band bot. So what we're going to do is move this as high as possible. If you can't move it to the top, it's okay. It'll still ban everybody below it or on the same level if it can. So then once we have the bandbots role as high as we can get it, we're going to type in dot ban. And we have to make sure that everything checks out. Does this bot have administrator? Yes, it does, because we had it checked in the beginning. Does this bot have a high role, a high enough role to ban members? Yes, it does. We move the bot role up in, ha in roles. If everything seems correct, say yes. So we're going to say yes. And it basically wiped out everybody. And if we go back to logs and say members up to, and it says that it banned my alt. So that's good. And if we go back to audit logs and search settings, you can see that it banned my alt. This works for everybody in the server that the bot can ban. It's not just alt and you do not have to be the owner of the server. You just have to have administrator in the server so you can add the bot and anybody can run this command and they will not be banned. If you guys are interested on how the code works, I have made notes for everybody in here that show how everything works. If you guys would like more code tutorials, then leave your suggestions down in the description of this video. If you guys found this video useful, make sure that you like and subscribe. 
and I will see you guys in the next tutorial. Peace.